everyone welcome back to my channel dental cafe if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest video today we are going to discuss about how to check retention and stability in complete denture very important point and very difficult to deal with the complete denture retention and the stability okay then let's begin the video now to check stability in complete denture in both cases in mandible and in maxilla okay then let's see how we'll deal with the stability of complete denture in lower or in mandibular denture how will you check the denture is stable or not in mandibular denture you can just check the stability by applying the pressure on premolar or molar region of one side of the arch by applying the pressure on premolar or molar region of one side of the arch if there is a rise of the denture on the other side it means denture is unstable denture is not stable if there is no rise of the denture on the other side it means denture is stable as you can see in figure we are going to apply a pressure on premolar or molar molar region or we can say one side of the arch so but there is no rise in the denture on the other side of the arch it means our denture is stable but if by applying pressure on the one side of the arch if our denture will rise then our denture is unstable we need to stabilize by correcting the flanges by correcting the occlusion the in figure our finger is on one side of the arch and on the other side we are checking whether denture is rise or not not so on one side we are applying pressure on the one side of the arch or a molar or premolar region and we will check whether denture will rise or will rise or not on the other side of the arch this is how you can check the stability of the mandibular denture how will you check the stability in maxillary denture in both the denture stability is checked in similar ma manner so in similar way like in lower denture we will check the stability by applying the pressure on the premolar and molar region of one side of the arch and if there is any rise of the denture of the other side will indicate the stable or denture is stable or unstable look at the figure in this figure we are applying pressure on premolar and molar region or one side of the arch but there is no rise in the denture on the other side it means our denture is completely stable in the figure you can also see how you will apply a pressure on the one side of the arch to evaluate the stability in case of maxillary and mandibular denture it is easy for you to check the stability of your own denture what you will do if the denture is unstable there are various reason for unstability of denture first of all your impression is not good denture is not seated properly on the arch second over extended flanges if your flanges is over extended then also third point always check lingual frenum if lingual frenum is elevated then also your denture will not be stable third point occlusion if occlusion is disturbed then patient whenever patient tries to eat your denture will move it will not be stable so all these are the points you will kept in your mind while delivering the denture or at the time of trial now we'll deal with the retention how to check retention in anterior region of maxillary denture or complete denture so trying to pull down the denture vertically by holding the denture in incisor region using thumb and four finger so by using thumb and four finger you will uh, check the retention in the maxillary anterior region by pulling down the denture vertically how you will check a retention in pps area of maxillary complete denture so to check the retention in pps area you will use a four finger is placed on the parietal surface of the upper anterior teeth and an outward force is applied by applying a outward force with the help of four finger on parietal surface you will check whether seal is break or not if seal is break it means denture is not retentive pps is not correctly recorded look at the figure we are using a thumb and a four finger 
and vertical force is applied but denture will not dislodge it means our denture is completely retentive how you will see the retention in the pps area by using your forefinger you can use any finger in a forefinger is given in literature so we can use forefinger we can use thumb by checking the retention in pps area so with the help of forefinger or thumb on the palatal surface of the anterior teeth we are applying outward force if den denture dislodge or if there is any break in the seal it means denture is not retentive it means pps is not correctly recorded you can see in this finger we can check the retention in anterior region by holding the anterior part of the denture with the thumb and the forefinger and vertical force is applied next figure you can say see we can check the retention in the pps area by using a thumb or a forefinger in the palatal surface of the anterior teeth and outward force is applied how to check retention in maxillary tuberosity or pterygo maxillary notch region of the opposite side you can check simply just applying upward and outward force on canine region to check the retentiveness of denture in maxillary tuberosity and pterygo maxillary notch region of the opposite side if you are applying a outward force on the canine of the one side you can easily check the retention of the maxillary tuberosity region on the opposite side you can see in the video by holding at the canine region or by applying outward force on the canine region you can check whether denture will dislodge or not at the tuberosity or the pterygo maxillary notch region of the maxilla see in the figure by holding at the canine region or by applying an upward and outward force on the canine region you can check the retentiveness of the denture in tuberosity and pterygo maxillary notch region of the opposite side what is the reason for lack of retention in denture first and the very important point is lack of stability if your denture is unstable it will never never be retentive second reason if the flanges are the short frenums are not not relief then also it will not retentive third reason if pps is not correctly recorded there is a lack of seal then also denture will not be retentive so by correcting or by remembering all these points you can correct the retention you can correct the denture so that it will be retentive what is the reason behind the lack of retention at maxillary tuberosity or pterygo maxillary notch reason if there is denture will dislodge at max, uh, maxillary tuberosity region it means the maxillary tuberosity is not completely recorded so you have to record tuberosity completely you have to check whether the the border molding is completely done or not all these steps of retention and stability are checked at the time of trial now it is very well clear to you how to uh, check retention and stability in the complete denture if you want more such kind of video do comment on comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel for the latest update